I think he's, he's this iconic hero that, that speaks for those who can't and acts for those who are unable. And we're in a, a time in our culture where uh, people feel voiceless and uh, they don't get the help they need. And here's a guy that can come, come and help them. So I think that there was a, this, this, this kind of shining knight you know, that lives in the shadows. Well, the world is very simple. He does fit in. He's an everyman, so he's at ease, and he appears like you and I um, to live in an apartment complex with with a, a vast array of people. Um, he's a Lyft driver, so he gets to hear human stories and involve himself in, with people. His scope is a little bit bigger, um, and but he's a he's a character and uh, and a man more at ease. Robert McCall is a man who pays attention. Um, probably more, and he sees more uh, than, than you and I see. So he can, for example, look at a, a young, talented child like Miles um, and see that he's teetering, uh, that he's got one foot in one world and one foot in another. And um, uh, he, he can sense, that's the other thing McCall does, he senses uh, people who are in need. And here is a young man that uh, um, the environment is sort of sucking in, and McCall, who doesn't have a father, becomes this father figure to him. He's now fighting himself. Uh, he's the, 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 the popes, the, his, his adversaries in this movie, um, are equal to him in skills and in, in thought process. So um, in those action sequences, it's heightened uh, and bigger. Um, uh, it's more dangerous. Uh, the other equalizing sequences are very um, much in, in keeping with what Robert McCall does. He can assess a situation in milliseconds, decide distance and, and uh, threats uh, faster than anyone, and can use whatever he has available to him. One is that she, uh, Susan Plummer, is the only person alive that knows all of Robert McCall's secrets. Um, he is, she is the only connection to his past that's left. Um, he, she is the only friend, truly, he has that knows who he really is. So it's a very interesting dynamic that they have. They've, they've been to war together. Um, uh, they protected one another. Um, they know each other's secrets. They're part of each other's lives. Um, everyone else thinks Robert McCall is dead. Uh, Susan and Brian Plummer know the truth. Um, and that's a comfort to Robert McCall. So when she is in trouble, um, I think it's, it becomes very personal. His connection to Miles for reasons that become clearer and clearer in, in the movie is much more personal. Um, there's a, a, he has a little more skin in this game, Robert McCall. Um, he becomes a father figure to this kid. He allows this kid into his world where in the first movie he avenged Chloe. He was her shining knight, whether she didn't know it. In this movie, um, he connects more with this, this young man and it's, it's, it's much more personal.